The Norwick Quarry, also known as De Norwick Quarry, is a large former slate quarry home to the Welsh National Slate Museum, located in the villages between Llanberis and De Norwick in North Wales. At its height at the turn of the century, it was the second largest slate quarry in Wales, and thus the world, second only to the Penryn Quarry in Bethesda, which at the time was the largest slate quarry in North Wales. The Norwick Quarry covered 700 acres consisting of two main sections with 20 galleries in each. Extensive internal tramway systems connected the quarries using inclines to transport slate between the galleries. Since its closure in 1969, the quarry has become the site of the National Slate Museum, a regular film attraction and extreme rock climbing destination. So that's what uh, it has to say online about the place. If you want to know more about the place, there is literally tons of information about this place online and many videos of fascinating history into the insights of the workings, some videos of some of the uh, galleries of the little steam locomotives running up and down. It really is quite interesting. So again, hope you enjoy it. So you will have to forgive the uh, very shaky video footage of this, uh, this explore. Uh, unfortunately, like I've just said in the uh, original description, taking uh, the GoPro was a complete afterthought. Uh, I could have probably recorded it all on my iPhone. It probably would have been a lot better, but I thought I should take the GoPro because it's got the video light attached to it. It's, it was all ready to go. A latter part of the Explorer I used with a small tie clip microphone with a with a wind muff on top of it. So uh, that was able to, do, to stop the wind noises on the higher levels of the Quarry Explorer. But unfortunately, the, the video footage is really shaky. So I will be going back to the quarry at some point with my brother with a new camera that I've recently purchased. Uh, and hopefully the footage will be uh, vastly superior. But for the time being, I'm going to uh, let you enjoy this in all its shaky glory. It's still on the drum there. You can see it and then the handle. Half the roof's on the handle now, isn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't. I'm going to go under there. We used to. I don't know. 20 years ago. Yeah. That's the kids that you got, they've just finished using it. Yeah. Yeah, the roof's all gone on it. It's the size of them. Oh. Little rough, rough cut. It's obviously somebody's got an idea what they put on here, you know. It's almost like that's a blue slate, look. Yeah. Where'd that come from, you know? They used, I don't know, they've got a blue vein here in the quarry. Yeah. Is this is this the second one, Charles? There's another one further up, isn't there? Yeah, this is the. This is the first incline, I think isn't this it? This is A2 incline. A1's below us. Oh, so we've missed that one then. Yeah, that's the one you can see from the bottom. There's yeah. a bit of a landing in the woods, very, very picturesque. So there's another incline house further down. But we came up here 20 years ago, didn't we? And it was a lot clearer than this. It shows how much later it's taken them back. Very, very interesting, very isn't it? Photographs of this, 90s. Yeah. Yeah. There's Lambertis town there. The old mill. It's pretty cool. There's Snowden. There's that winch house we were just looking at. A bit in the back. The roof's all gone. Amazing how much of it's still there. Tight cable still on it. That's where we were just a minute ago in there. See the old band break there. Damn it. There's some more remains of railway lines. Got you here. Oh, I think I What's that? Say hello. <laughs> Is that on TV? TV? 
What's this then, Chunk? Oh, someone's nicked the wheels. Yeah. Oh, it's got like a little, little shack. Little shack, and then this is the next incline after the wagons would have gone around that corner above the uh, power station lake. And then you can see there the next incline. This one's A3 incline. And again, railway lines are still on it. You can see up there, another incline. Pretty cool. You know, railway lines are still in it. Oh, is that a roller? No, oh, it's still got a roller look. Trip up. Look at that there. And your wire rope. Oh, there's a wire rope still here. That's cool. Look at that. Train track there. There are tracks there. And up there. Watch that then, Trunk. Oh, it looks like T-rail, a bulb rail chair. Interesting, I've seen one of these here before. Daddy. It's quite early. You've got something equally as interesting, a piece of slate. Yeah, there's lots yeah, of that round here. There's lots of that. Heart shaped. Can you going to take that back for your mum here? Yeah. And Trunk's not going to take that home with him later. No, no. This is amazing views, it's very unusual for this part of the world, isn't it? And there's always someone who leaves a can behind. Ridiculous. Well, let's have a look at that one. So that's an old bit of railway sleeper apparently, Chunk, Chunk said. They put a wooden peg in the hole. Wooden pegs, the and then the train tracks. I mean, this, what would this be, an old tip, do you think? It's one of the access levels. Uh, we're right above the, the uh, right above the entrance to the uh, quarry just down. Sorry, the um, power station just down here, I think. The level below us, I know, is New York. It's named New York. I think this is Wellington. Wow. They all have names. You can see how low the lake is down there at the moment. Probably needs pumping. Probably waiting for rush hour and the electric, and then that'll be filled up in like ten minutes from the generators. Do you reckon? Yeah, I think they've only got three generators on at the moment because they're replacing the bridge. Well, it's not the steadiest of cameras, I'm afraid, because uh, I don't possess a gimbalage. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Amazing scenery. It's not sunny, but considering where we are, this is. Uh, Probably as good as it's going to get on a Sunday in October. <laughs> what was that? A bog? Yeah. Well, look at that, that's pretty cool. Nice you reckon that's a toilet? It was, yeah, they had them everywhere. Very good. I'll wow. show you some deluxe ones later on. We'll actually see the remains of the cars he's in it. See, I wouldn't know that because to me it just looks like a bit of slate that someone's cemented. It cost money if you walked off the toilet, so just yeah. There you can see here some of the levels of the mine. The one above it's Wellington, and I can't remember the ones above that, but I know I think we're on the people. New York. And and there you can see down there, we're right above, right above the uh, quarry. That's the one called New York, and below it, you got the tilde. Like various levels in between levels. So we're right above, right below the quarry up there. It changes the angle here, see the strata changes, and they followed it up there to the last quarry was up there. But there's massive pits behind all these, you can see them. Vast, just vast, yeah. And right here is the compressor house, this is the first compressor house, which is responsible for all the rock drills in this level. Well, so what are, we, what are we coming up to now, a compressor house? All right. So I seem to remember many years ago when we came here, we came across some huge, great big iron compressors. Yeah, and you just absolutely gobsmacked how they got the things up here. In, bits. in pieces and then assembled them all up. Using gravity power. Yeah. So on that incline, we've just seen before. 
then it would have come along this level here. Wow, look at this. Look at this thing here, just in the middle of a quarry. Is that what that would have been, you reckon? What was that, an old wire or something? Look at this building here. Windows are still in the, the ceiling is immaculate. Down to the air, the sensor drill. So that would have gone out of here down to the quarry. Yeah. A bit of rail in there, look. And the bolt or something. It's a bolt. Oh, big bolt. If I'm looking at you, Jim, I might need a light piece of flat bar rail here off the tramway that sit. Yeah, they used to smash all the motors up the scrap, but that's the compressor's going. I've got my light on, but I don't know where the light will light it all up. I'm quite sure what this is. Wow, look at that. So, what's that? That's a Might bit of a. Yeah, cool or something, I don't know. But yeah. Look at the original so. numbers on it. Look at the size of this thing. I think it's a Bellis and Morecambe compressor, this one. So, what would have been there? Uh, that Might would have been, been the air filter. Oh, Stop yeah. the rubbish going in, wrecking the valves inside it. Big gun metal valves in there. See the size of this what thing? What's this, there? Do you know? Air compressor. An old air compressor. Oh yeah, there's the reservoir for it there. What the size of that? Now I know what that is, that's a transformer. So that would have been a transformer for the motor. So this is the stuff I find interesting. I can still see the cores of the transformer in there, look at that. So this was a cage. Someone's used a rubbish bin. That's the uh, compressor. So the motor, what's left of the motor? Oh, yeah. That's the side of the motor there, look. Well, I left some copper. I didn't quite get all of it. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this. Someone's left a pan, tidy. <laughs> yeah, look at these old controls. Goat poo. Yeah. Someone's Smells of death. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Here, right, put the torch on so you can see a bit more of the roof. Look at that. Amazing. And then uh, you can see the compressor there and the motor. And lovely graffiti. A bit more light on. I've got my big light on, so. Oh, I know. It's uh, pretty impressive to look at, though, isn't it? And you can see the uh, reservoir over there. The transformer. Oh, wow. Look at that. Some Christmas lights. <laughs> Um, oh. When you put the drill bits in to sharpen them again, so you got you that. Heat them up in the forge, put them in there to re. Make so that's what that is, is it? Yeah, before you got interchangeable tips. Like oh. Later on, they got rid of this idea. You screwed them on, and with the washing, yeah. knock them on the floor. That them is a hood, isn't it, for blacksmiths? Is that what I'm looking yeah. at there? Yeah, it's yeah. a half part. Look at the roof in here, that's incredible. Look at the size of those slates. How cool is that? There's a bit of a. Uh, the sheep have had their way up here, haven't they? Oh, wow. Let's have a quick look up here. So, that you think is a steam engine, but it's not. Actually, it is a Ingersoll Rand air compressor, isn't it? Yeah, Type 10. There's a few here. Wow. It's got most of the, the size of the wheel and these, these big air pistons. You probably use 15 horsepower just to turn it over before you start getting air out. Wow. Of it. You can see the roof there. That's the old motor the Charlie. See the bell. sideways. <laughs> <laughs> busy looking at the camera. <laughs> The sheep living here now, yeah. You can see 
turn that. So you can see they're bolted together, so they bought this up in pieces, but it's still massive. I mean, these castings on these concrete bases are, are huge, aren't they? There you go. Yeah, Stan. All of this, I think, is just rotted down sheep poo. Goats. Goat, 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 goat sheep, sheep poo. Goats here to kick around the... oh, there you are. This is quite interesting. Look at this, an old commentator from a motor. So that's a commentator. And that is probably what the belt ran, ran, ran around here. And there would have been a big, long belt. So that motor would have sat on there. There it is. The goats have been enjoying consuming it. There's a bit left of it. Obviously had so, some good fun eating the oh belt. Oh yeah, so they've eaten the belt. Yeah. It's quite thick. So this platform here moved to adjust and that it. would have tensioned the belt on that down there. One way about it. And there's the cast in for the motor. Hey. How cool is that? Hey. That would have sat on there. Oh. And there's the motor. Well, the commentator for it anyway. And then you can see on there the wiring. How cool is that? And then the air tank, the valve and everything's long gone. It is, isn't it? Look at that. It is again. It's just incredible. Look at the size of the slates. They're about two, three inches thick. That's amazing. That is a very substantial roof. This bit won't fall down. Look all the oil's gone off on it. Yeah, yeah. That's how fast it's been ran. Yours got all the way up there. Wow. Very cool. When was it shut down? 68. Turn my torch off because it gets hot when you have it on, on kill setting. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, old, uh, the old light on the GoPro is not too bad, is it? Right. Very cool, eh? All right, let's, uh, mm, let's go and have a look. There's loads of quid here. Would you come up here and look at this compressor all day? Just found the back end of the motor there. It was in there. That's the casting off the end of the motor with the guards and everything. Look, still there. Well, really interesting. Now it's a goat den. <laughs> That's a huge building. Let's have a look at the roof on that. Look at the roof. Amazing. That's just an air compressor building. Just come back from around the compressor house. And a little waterfall, and then this. Look at this. All this by hand. Crowbars, black powder, all by hand. Yes, probably get some loose slate coming down, but and hard hats people will probably stay, but it's been here this long. I wouldn't be coming up here on a frozen day though, that wouldn't be a good idea. A lot of this stuff comes down fairly regularly then. Amazing. And we're right on top of the uh, power station almost. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Some of the old railway tracks. Incredible scenery, it really is breathtaking up here. I was saying that we're lucky with the weather, no, my luck is going to absolutely pee it down. Living in Wales, we're used to it. <laughs> say 20 years ago, me and my brother came up here with a few friends, and that was, uh, it looked very different then. Didn't come to this part though, so I do, this is all new for me. We went all the way to the very top of this place, up the inclines, and we went all on the very top of the mountain to get to the best side, which is the, the right hand side of the power station down here. Yeah, you have some like a danger out there which would be poisonous off, so this is probably ready to come up. Oh, great, let's, uh, let's move on. <laughs> well, no one's inspected it for years. Every day is an inspection. Oh, look, some sort of little den. Hmm. It's all a little plateau here, look. Oh, 
is this some graffiti you put on here like 20 years ago, is it? Yeah, he's still there, look. Oh, you see him, we'll have to reconvene, reconvene Neil, look. There he is. I get everywhere I do. <laughs> there he is. This man is the bane of my life. No, he's not. There he is. Oh, I love you, Adam. Now so if anybody ever sees this strange food. looking facial figure it's randomly not. appearing on slate things and buildings and around North Wales, then it's this man here that's done it. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh well I think I think we best be away from that then maybe. Let's let's all let's all move it this way. Some sort of metal. Yeah. Over here. Yeah, let, let, let's come over this way. <laughs> What's that? It's a wooden chassis off the tipper wagon. It's off the front, so when they tip it, it wouldn't knack of the wood. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's when they were moving the slate off the tips. Just a protector. We'll see yeah. some wagons over there in a minute. Yeah. That'd be cool. So you've got steel chassis though. I think. Oh, well, there's the uh, air compressor house over there. Just over there. Oh, I've, got, I've got a GoPro so I can't zoom into anything I'm afraid. I might see what I can do. Yeah. So I think it is time for a cup of tea. It is. That piece of slate there will do. A nice flat one. It won't sit there too long because it's piled. Piles. Let's film that. Oh, just as we're about to have a cup of tea we found a bit of railway line. Still here, look at that. Someone's nicked the frog. Oh, the someone's nicked the frog. piece has gone. It's like bar rail. It is. How unusual is that? Look at the way how it's flattened the head on it. Yeah. The wood run steam engine, but obviously not the big locos, probably the small stuff like petrol, so, diesel. Petrol. So you know this, you know, yeah. so on these levels, they weren't, what's up? What's that? That's little a building. Oh, what? Flash shelter. They go in there when they set a charter. Oh, I plane. see. So when they were blowing up big chunks of slate off this, it was somewhere to go and take shelter. Well, there you go. A little them. round building there. Looks like a turret. You'd use black powder because dynamite would blow it to bits. Yeah. Black powder would just loosen it off so you could get the slate to work it into um, slates, sheets, roofs, slabs. Yeah. There's a range of a winch wheel over the back there, look. So it's we're starting to see some interesting stuff. But it's, it's cool to see the railway lines do. It's a two foot gauge. Yeah, you got the, you know, oh, I see. Oh, this one's got... Is that the frog? Yeah, it's got the frog that one. That's just so the flanges of the wagons and the locomotives Converse transition. Oh, an old chair. It's all linear, you just can't see it. Yeah, yeah. You've got yourself a nice place to sit. There's a, there's a flat in there, look. Oh, I've there's got a bit of wind. Here, I don't know whether this will pick the sound up with the wind. But it's another frog that's gone missing here, look. Just take that. Some of the rocks have landed on the track here in the past and oh, smashed that smashed to pieces. But look at the wear there from the wheels. Wow. Gives you an idea about how many wagons used to run through this system. Okay. That's a slab wagon. So that obviously is just missing the wheels. Yeah. You can tell where the wheels are. This would have been right? made here in their workshop. And you look here, the numbers are on the end. Oh, 305. Wow. Everyone was numbered differently. So that's a 305 so far, then wagons in the quarry. Wow. Of just that type. To change. Like, honestly, I mean. I don't do so much of it anymore because of work and time, but the tracks, I don't think I've ever seen tracks like this. Well, this is what the steam locals would run on. This is the double-headed bullhead rail, it's called the bull's head. The yeah. idea is if you wore one side out, you turn it over and use the other, but what happened, this was loose in the where it fixings. It used to put like wear marks, so it was never any good. Yeah. But it was an idea they had at the time. How cool is that? Just left there. I guess a lot of this stuff was left up here, it just couldn't... There's a winch drum there, look. Off the crane in the back there, see oh, it? Wow, there, you can just see it. The teeth around it. I mean, I really don't want to go too close to that, to be honest. They've obviously just chucked all this scrap here after they've had a fall. They've cleared the area away for yeah. Yeah. But over here, you've still got some loaded wagons ready to leave for the tip. Well, look at that. Still following the railway line tracks here. I think we are going to stop for a cup of tea in a minute. So I'm, uh, it's at that time of the day. Wagon down there, another one of the slab wagons sat at the top of the. Oh, by the non incline right above yeah. the entrance to the. Uh, you can see a steel the plate tunnel. in the foreground of a turntable to rotate them round in any direction. Yeah, Go yeah. Down there. Oh, yes, I can see that. Tracks are looking a bit worse for wear along here. But the innovative here, they, they made a lot of ingenuity 
obstacle. I'll tell you what, this is. Uh, I've seen this before. Now look at that. That is pretty damn impressive. That's how they would stack them. Don't think they just put them to the side height. They always went up in the air. Wow. And I can generally tell you that was done by the miners that worked here. Hence why steam locomotives to pull these to the tip. Okay, I think they're going to turn again. Well, they might do. Those wheels are cast in Sheffield. Still on the tracks. Look. <laughs> They wouldn't take anything but one hand pushing on these when they were rolling to move them. Yeah, them quite close to this. <laughs> there's, just, there's some big, big, big pieces of slate down here that have come off. But that's still on the railway tracks, and the day they were left. And then there's a, a nice drop off the end here. Nice. You can see the, the, uh, either the slates collapsed here to block the route, or this has just been worked from below and abandoned this level. Yeah, this is why they're here. Yeah. Fairly, uh, yeah, they had a massive fall here. All this has gone, so the whole line would have been going around here as the whole yeah, lot's collapsed. Yeah, this could have happened any time after the mine quite shut. Well. And, your, and your enemy is the water, it freezes and prizes the rock off. Yeah, I was Don't just saying that before. I says it wouldn't be a good place to be when it's frozen around these parts because the water freezes behind the slate and pushes it off. So, this place is always falling down. Yeah, it's uh, it's never been down there, probably about as close as we want to be here, I think. All right, <laughs> look at this. Let's turn the light on. <laughs> look at all the rails in the roof. Let's just turn the light on. There you go. Oh, there you go. oh my up. god, this is small, isn't it? Yeah, well, you idea how many I can't, I can't actually can't fit in with my coat with my thing on. Oh, look at that. It's tiny. Here, Some are worn. Flat bar and bullhead, double head. <laughs> Just coming out, I let the girls come in. <laughs> There's some writing in the mortar from the days of the quarry. Can't that be stupid? Party. If you're a person of a larger constitution, you're going to struggle Sad getting in and out of this, aren't you? <laughs> this, this is where it's you're like, going to bad tacks. Chuck, you come out of there now just to show us how, how thin it actually is. It's, uh, no it's tiny. <laughs> no good for big boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that little uh, den. So they used to take cover in that if they were uh, blasting this. Very cool. Right, we need a cup of tea. Well, this was pretty cool. Yeah. It's just on another level now. This goes looking down to that little house where the compressor was earlier on. A little, uh, little stream brother and the girls up there interestingly all the way up here in a slate quarry a load of bricks my brother said this was originally a dam look at this dirty hit your rubbish with you people this was a dam and you can see the pipe there it's piped down to the compressor house apparently Adam said to cool the compressors down so this has dammed the water up through a pool, uh, which uh, they used. Oh, well, that's full. A bit of perforated steel. Probably had that on the piping, let maybe for the compressor stop debris getting down. But yeah, it's uh, apparently just to pull the water for the compressor to cool it down, which is in a house, that place just down there. All right, up to another level now. Like I say, still lucky so far the weather. Got a ways to go. There's a compressor pipe there running up the hill. So wobbling around. Maybe you should buy a gimbal like everyone else has got. Let's get up here a bit. I see some sort of scaffolding up there. What that's all about. I say it's 20 years since I've been up here. changed but this is an area we never went so it's quite interesting yeah quite a steep hill this not as fit as it used to be Oh. I'm just 
time Charlie, this is the latter part of the mine's existence. A lot yeah. of slate is very useful for making roofing slates, but because it would only give small size, they chucked it over the tips. So, no, no, Dad. It was like the, the quarry's last days of pushing to try and keep it economical. No, no. So we tried to hide a banana under a slate. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's obviously a brand new man. Yeah. No handrail, but it just put it in. Found the fish. Come on, Matilda. Incredible, eh? Yeah, there's your air pipes everywhere, look. They're big, aren't they? Plans on the end, so threaded and plans. I may have rubber gaskets if it moves, the old stuff like there's festos in there, there's festos. Yeah, you can see the white inside, yeah. Wow. Incredible. I've got a flexible drive coupling stuck in it, I've lost it. I bet it bloody is too. <laughs> oh no, it's an angled piece, look. Change the angle. Oh, look like a bit of packing in it. Yeah. Like lead or white metal. metal. Yeah. Lead? Yeah. Oh, Boys, the pikeys not. haven't had that. Well, so you want to go get the bolts out? For <laughs> yeah. 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 These to... days, you can just put a batch pad angle grinder up and go for a disc and a battery and, and get yourself 10 quid worth of lead out of it. Two good quality <laughs> discs would kill that and probably two batteries. <laughs> so, is it worth it? Yeah, this is it, probably not. Hiya. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hey, well, can you imagine this you imagine imagine the scrap hand? slate? Yeah. Transformer house there, loads of isolators around the top of it. But you said there was a load of mills here, there's obviously some yeah. fireplace here, look. Modernisation of brick and tile for the toilets, changing rooms. They tried to make this place more attractive for the workforce because one of the demises was not getting new people here. And then we're on to one of the many too late, really. inclines going up here. And it looks like cable channel. Is that what it is? Cable, look, look it is cable channel. And it's got some sort of earth rods on it. Let's have a quick look here. Look at the stonework there. Incredible. Again, the old chimneys in this. Nice, yes. Some sort of old cable channel, but you can see on top of it is there the metal. It's probably undoubtedly for uh, lightning. I about to say this would be for lightning this, these bits of metal, wouldn't they? I'll stop these sliding down. Oh, yeah. I don't think they'd be strong enough to stop them from sliding down. Yeah, but... Again, that's one of those pits down there that a lot of the urbex crew like going down. Adam said some sort of TV programme was filmed down there or something. So. Yeah, alright, we'll go back. So this... So we came down here, what, 20 years ago? <laughs> I keep saying about 20 years ago, I think it was. We and we ran down it. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't happening again. Was it? Yeah. Wow. Was it? Stu? Simon, yeah. Oh, what's this? A water tank? Not a water tank here, is it? Yeah. Look at that. All right. So you've got to boil water to make steam drive the engine so pretty cool Poppy. not much left of it now though no. slowly turning back into earth Out by that big the interesting hole. thing about this is Noah's picked up the fact that they used to operate this with one winding house and get stuff off the side. Here oh, so it was like a merge for the tracks? See an iron rubbing strip on this curved wall, so they could actually pull wagons up on here, yeah. or counterbalance it on this incline, yeah. so they could use this as an access point. Obviously not a busy level, but yeah. it still gave it an easy way of accessing them. So those tracks come along here, and this quarry was which would have teed onto tracks where we are now, which are long gone. Yeah. So they could pull things off and add them to the incline. I imagine it was a dr drum house, the probably there. It's the long gone. Oh, you can see one right at the very top. A drum house right up there. The Let's get a bit higher. Interesting. This is the old cable, the incline. Look at the 
oil still in it, grease, still flexible. I was all up there, that was that incline I just looked at with the concrete caissons on it. It was just this little spur, you see it. Uh, cable's still here, just dropped off the edge. I'm guessing when the power station took over the site, those caissons carry communication wires or whatever to the top of the site. Oh, it can't be power cables because the generators are underground. But uh, yeah, carrying on this level here. Slate. <laughs> of rusted metal. So uh, another shack or well, remains of a shack. I would have had one of them heavy duty roofs on but see it's uh, it's not fared well in the weather up here. More like something's fallen on it. Oh that's rotten. Look at that. A lot of oil carrying on it. Yeah look at that. The size of these slates on the roof. An inch, an inch and a half thick. Oh, you can see there, an old drum house. Oh, right, yeah. yeah that's a good advert for how good British steel used to be. <laughs> yeah. All that flat bar rail. So, oh, there we go. There's a little bit of wire there. What have you found? Repurposed. To suit their gauge. See how the two foot was here. So what they, is this? A sleeper? Yeah, it's a they, metal sleeper. They real drilled them to bring the gauge in to suit their system, which obviously when they divided it, it was just big enough to fit a horse. Huh. But as years went by, the system was everyone had two foot gauge and it became a standard. Except for here, they kept it their size, so the gauge for them was in a bit. These are rail anchors. <laughs> so they re-drilled both of them to be used. So obviously would have got these quite cheap. First world war sleepers. Wow. From France. Now you can see a wagon. It's a run and incline. Look at the size of the cable for this one. It's got to be an inch and a half thick. Inch and a half thick. It's huge. Oh, Christ, it's heavy. Massive. So you can see this, uh, this deck here. It's like a little platform coming off the edge here. That wagon is like a platform. You come down, one will go up, one going on the two drums there. One will go up, one will come down, and they'd kind of come down at an angle and park here, and they'd push wagons sideways onto it to the next level or come down. It's quite interesting. I was just explaining about that little landing bay there for this thing. Just see the corner of the wagon there. Underneath is this. Uh, I don't know why I'm going in there. Look at that. Yeah, that's not going to last much longer with all this on top. But cool, still got the train tracks inside. Again, the size of this wire is huge. And, uh, that's all collapsed out there, so probably not a good place to be there, Adam, to be honest. <coughs> There's a tunnel over there. There's lots of tunnels. Where this one goes. Where does this one here go? It goes into that big dugout in there. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, that's what Adam was telling me about before. It's a crank off a compressor. One of the big Ingersoll Rang things, I'd imagine. Wow. Scary. Uh, Wow, the air coming out of here. Ah. I think we're going to go and see the pit the other side of that in a minute. But, uh, full of water, so I'm not going in there. Cool, very cool. <sighs> this is the quickest way to the top the quarry, the Fox's Path. It needs a bit of maintenance, but it's still passable. This is one of these urbex paradises down here. Whew. Exhausted. 
you go and have a look, see what everyone goes on about. Although I have seen it before. Oh, my days. Folks doing some rock climbing. There is entrance down there. There's some folks over there. I'm guessing it was good grade slate in here for them to dig it out like that. Compressor pipe. Rotten compressor pipe. Oh, a junction for it. It's pretty cool. Den. I think Adam said there's another compressor house. This. Let's have a look. There's another compressor house, is it? Oh, well, let's have a look. It's. Uh... I don't think so, uh, unlike that one down there. Oh, I've come in just the right place. I can stay at this roof. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So we just, I just pointed out a minute ago, in the, down, down there, <laughs> that uh, the crank of a compressor. I remember we saw that Ingersoll rang in that big shed just before. This looks almost identical, doesn't it, to that one? It is. So, yeah. Low pressure, high pressure cylinder. So they basically just smashed it to pieces, into small pieces, to basically scrap it. There's no other reason why it's like this, essentially, because it's cast. It's a more better thing to take away, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You smash it up enough. I always think there was a bet going on here to do this. You never finished it. Oh, no. You might have been buying a bridge all night. Yeah, you can see there, look, where they've hammered it. That's some serious casting. Yeah. Yeah, they've hammered it all to pieces. Smash it into small manageable pieces to take it down. <laughs> Tired girl. There's a lot of people here today. Some folks up there, folks there, all doing rock climbing training. Got some ropes out. Oh, it's actually quite interesting. We can see one of those wagons here. And Adam told me there's quite a lot up on the quarry, further on in better condition. But there, you can see, I'll have to zoom in on the computer because if I remember, Charlie's GoPro's so wide. See one of them concertina wagons that went down sideways. Oh, yeah, there's a compressor house. So what level's this then? Oh, well, so it's, this is this. It is. Was this operated by steam or was this one? This would have been a steam level. Can yeah. I, show you I think this was finished with oh, quite early on. All the way up there. Can Lots I show of people you up there. Oh yeah, that's the top levels. Yeah. That's the overburden levels to get the rock off to get to the site. That'd have been abandoned probably in the 20s. Uh, back, so. and this is a great fall here, see you right. This what really did to scupper the quarry. It's interesting this has been hollowed out. The rest of the quarry is all quite staggered down the front. Right. Yeah, they've taken all this out. So there must have been a good grade slate in here for them to do this. Well, this is it goes all the way down as well, doesn't it? This is Garrett's side of the quarry. And Black is on the right hand side as we look at the face here. That's where the interesting stuff is. That's the yeah, stuff. yeah. I think this is where they found a really good vein of sight. Yeah. Went for this. Again, this is quite. This is very accessible to a lot of people, so this is very popular. Do you want to go through that? Go on, then. Go a child and go through it. <laughs>